Coming up, we'll see how students are studying Chinese as well as other parts of the culture. Due to China's recent development and the gradual opening up of its market, Chinese language courses have become increasingly popular. Beyond that, 20% of the world's population is Chinese, so it's easy to see how knowing some of the language could be of use. With the increasing popularity of Chinese, China started its HSK, or Chinese Proficiency Test, in 1992. HSK today has become the equivalent of I. International students probably differ from local students in terms of study habits, but all agree that attending class is most important. The language classes are small, usually less than 20 people, so that every student can get more of a chance to practice their Chinese, and the teacher can pay more attention to the individual. <laughs> Compared with the students learning Chinese in their home country, those who come to Beijing can immerse themselves in the country's language and at the same time look forward to the great job prospects which will be available to them when their study is complete. In addition to learning in class, finding a language partner is another effective way to learn Chinese. Stuart Brown, a short-term student from England, is one of the benefactors from such a partnership. Looking at the many notices from people seeking language partners on the board, he finally tears a strip from Victoria's, an English major in the same university, who wants to practice English with a native speaker and teach him standard Chinese. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Where there's not much space for like gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, Learning with a language partner gives you a chance to learn some more maybe colloquial terms. In Chinese, some of the language we learn in class is very formal, very regulated. I mean, and I've found that um, maybe some of the things that we've taught in class, people don't actually say in Chinese. I think it's a very useful experience and also it really helps you to practice your uh, Chinese. It's also, just, instead of just learning the language, you also make friends and also get a sort of a cultural experience as well. Well, my classmates have new, uh, language partners from New Zealand, Canada, and Australia, USA, or yeah, many, many. And uh, they just take um, a part of their uh, campus life, very colorful, yeah. Their study is not just confined to books, and their topics not limited by a text. Maybe next time they will go out on the street to have their language exchange class. Because of China's long history and rich culture, people from all over the world come here to study everything from martial arts to calligraphy to Chinese folklore. Many foreign students know Chinese martial arts from Jackie Chan and Jet Li movies. The increasing popularity of Chinese wushu in the world has caused foreign students, especially from Europe and America, to come to Beijing. Beijing Sports University is regarded as one of the best universities which offers martial arts classes. To bridge the language gap, the teachers here use body language to demonstrate the principles of every gesture, especially for the beginners. Oh, she's eating the shop.
The students here love Chinese martial arts. Though their figures are tall and big, and some haven't practiced it before, they are diligent and hardworking. They choose to learn through their passion for wushu. After training for the whole morning, they are hungry and tired. So, it's time to relax and have a good meal with friends. Rigo is from America. He has been learning wushu for just more than a semester, and now he is in the advanced class. Back home, his major was philosophy, but he has found he loved wushu more than philosophy. So finally, he came to Beijing to study. He enjoys the teaching, his friends, as well as the food and bars in Beijing. Aside from learning in class, he watches wushu VCDs. He considers it very helpful to his practice. Hanging out in his room, he passes the time listening to pop music while watching Chinese wushu. This is my Chinese comic book. And since I don't go to class anymore, I just study the comic book. And so I'll sit there and translate the characters. And that's how I learn Chinese instead of like going to class, reading their textbook. And this is exciting, I think, because I really like comic books. I've never seen Chinese or Hong Kong comic books before. Not only is his way of learning Chinese unorthodox, his method of learning wushu is special too. He places a video camera on the carpet during class and it will record everything. Another way to improve wushu is watching other people practice. So he usually goes back to the university to watch the Chinese wushu team. Over time, Rigo has gained his own understanding of wushu. Peking opera, one of the most distinctive and ancient art forms of Beijing, is another attraction for international students. the taxi drivers to speak English. So how did you spend your spring festival while you were in the States? So this apartment, uh, is it provided by the government? Up next, we'll meet Noor, who is getting a degree in China. And we'll also take a walk in the shoes of some Korean students. There are also internationals studying to earn their bachelor's, master's, or doctorate degrees. They take their classes in Chinese, take the same exams as their Chinese classmates, and in every other way are just average university students. Nuo Wa is an average graduate student at Tsinghua University, one of the top science universities in China. He is from Nigeria, and after one year of language learning, he started his graduate study in 1999 majoring in communication and information systems. Now he is almost finished with his graduate study and is preparing his thesis. He works on his project in the State Key Laboratory on Microwave and Digital Communications, along with many Chinese students and professors. He is conducting his research in the area of mobile communication concerning power control. One difficulty for Nua is still the language. 
He has had to learn a lot of terms related to his major. But he can still get help from his Chinese friends and discuss problems with his teachers. So they are really, really knowledgeable. They know a lot of things within China and outside. First-hand technology, they know it. Whatever you want, they are ready to help you, they are ready to assist. The library is another place he likes. He can use hard and software facilities in the library and get information from anywhere on the World Wide Web. Though at the very beginning he had to adapt to the totally new surroundings, now, in his own words, he feels he is almost a Chinese because he has Chinese friends in the lab, department, and school at large. Now I just really feel at home because they really make me feel at home. In addition to the classwork, internationals also have their extracurricular activities, such as basketball, soccer, football, and other sports. They also enjoy Chinese cuisine and, if they want, a taste of home to cure their homesickness. While most schools offer foreign student housing, some students still prefer to pay a little more for a place off campus. There are also some training centers in Beijing. ...have an impact on the city. In 2002 alone, they brought in almost a billion renminbi in tuition fees, a hundred million renminbi in living expenses, and an additional billion in spending money. Hey, so you need to go to where? I want to go to the Almost half of Beijing's foreign students come from Korea. Not only are they affected by Chinese life, but they also influence Chinese people. There is a street known as Korean Street near Beijing Language and Cultural University, where many shops sell popular Korean clothes and shoes. In addition, Korean movies, songs, and even movie stars also influence Chinese young people. Though you can find the daily necessities in supermarkets, there are also several small shops selling things imported from Korea. The prices are a little higher in here than in other Chinese supermarkets, but some foreign students still prefer shopping here because they can find their usual brands and taste the flavors of home. Coming up, we'll meet some people who found their soulmates while studying in China. <laughs> Being so far from home, these international students can easily become homesick, but most meet new friends, and some meet more than just friends. Li Hui is a Japanese girl. She loves Chinese literature, and she also has a loving Chinese boyfriend. Last September, and I have a friend that teaches Japanese in our university, and I was looking for a language partner, and she invited me to her class, and well, that, that was where you, 